and I'm insane today. I have created this cut crease look, and you really want to know how I achieve this look. So please keep on watching. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and comment down below if you like this video or not, and what kind of videos you would really like to see next. Hi. So before starting out with my base, I'm gonna use my Cetaphil Day Cream. Uh, it's a daily advanced ultra hydrating lotion. I say it has a deep cream. It's not. It's for dry to very dry skin. And I'm going to be picking oily first. So I'm going to take this much amount. That's going to be a lot. It has for very oily skin. I'm just going to put. So I'm taking this uh, Derma color in D64 and I'm going to prime my lid with this. Oh yeah. Okay. With the same brush, I'm going to dip into this Kali Bible. It's a first shade. I call it as a bone shade. I'll set this. I know there is a lot of pink trend going on that you should not set it but I like it when I set it I am like switching the brush I like when my concealer are nice and set or my eye base are nice and set but if there is patchiness in your eye look right now like the base is patchy then the colors are also going to be very patchy and everything so make sure each step is perfect and do not uh, go further if there's any mistakes happen just fix that and then go further okay so i'm going to take this small figure palette and i will up take this shade i have lost the sheet where it has a uh, i have lost the sheet uh, with the name written on it so now i'm just like i'm using the shade and i'm going to apply it on my crease and then more of my transition color I'm gonna blend it more focusing on the crease area I'm also taking my uh, shadows a little out so just to do that cut crease effect I'm gonna take this shade it's a very dark it's purpley plump shade it's not more of a plump but it's very dark purple brown shade i'm taking the same brush and now more concentrating on my crease so i'm gonna raise your brows and then put it right where your crease is and if you feel like you don't have a crease you can always make one that's all we do in cut crease make our own crease I'm gonna slowly gonna build the color as you guys can definitely see there's a difference so now I'm gonna move on to cutting my crease which is very essential need a lot of concentration also taking the same D64 concealer from Derma taking my flat eyeshadow brush and making a cut going on a night color so I got this palette free yeah they come with this spatula and one side brush I freaking think this palette worth just because of this champion shade it's a, such a pretty shade you guys that's what i'm gonna put it all over my eyes with the same concealer brush it's absolutely amazing you guys need to try this palette out if you guys have not i'm using this uh water spray and wetting my brush i'm gonna use that color all on my uh, lid basically wherever i've cut the lid so guys 
on off camera and apply this before and fox wing slashes i got this from amazon these are not uh, indian brands these are actually from us but you can get it from amazon i got this pair for the price 550 or 600 it was not more than 550 actually i got it five pair of this wing slashes are really good as you guys can see it gives a very really nice flutty look i really like it but because i don't know how to apply lashes perfectly on my eyes i can do it on other eyes but on my eyes it's kind of a little tough so it took me a long time actually but i use this pack uh, lash lash fixer to apply as a glue wow and also i have <laughs> switch on my fan because i was sweating a lot you guys i cannot like i cannot sit here and do my entire makeup without uh, uh, without the fan so i'm so sorry if you can hear the voice uh, please cooperate with me because i seriously don't have any clue that how i'm gonna apply my makeup if the fan will not be on so guys i'm applying this lawyer based machine i've heard somewhere that if you apply these primers where you sweat a lot it helps to control that so yeah i apply that on the so as you guys know i love this pack 2.1 shade uh, but i recently got this maybelline uh, super stay 24 full coverage foundation or uh, 24 hours i guess uh, i'm in the shade 312 golden actually i'm not in the shade 312 golden whatsoever but uh, i was like very confused i do not want to buy a shade which was very off or which was very pink undertone so i researched a little bit and i thought 312 golden would be really nice but proxy like apparently it's not uh, it's not a shade for me so i'm taking a pack 2.1 because i have been a little tan i've got some tan that's why i'm mixing these two shades i'm taking half the pump of this and one whole pump of my pack foundation and uh, i'm gonna apply this with this uh, foundation brush first going to mix them in the back of my hand here it is uh, and then Going to open my mirror and yeah start swiping them oh such a good match so as i told you guys that i'm been testing new products out in this video so i've tried the super stay one and what I have tried this mink lashes on for the first time and I am using this for the second time the first time I applied was yesterday it was really nice but I really like like punch and then blend it out just to give that a natural look but today as I am doing a lot of glam I am using this NYX professional makeup HD studio photogenic concealer that was a very, very long name uh, I'm in the shade CW10 yellow. It's just the yellow shade. I thought as a corrector, I will bought this as a yellow corrector. But apparently, it it is really good. Like for my own device, it's like blends in a dream. I really like it, so I'm gonna apply that. Oh, I like. It. Just take a screenshot. know that if i have told you guys that i have this but i bought this trylon cup powder in tl1 it's a translucent powder uh, it's pure white actually i don't want to ruin it it's pure white but it's translucent so it's amazing actually oh i got some creases can i use this it creases fast huh I want to set my concealer. So now I'm going to apply this uh, Nika ka Kajal pencil. So 
I just wanted my shitty eye look has torn up so good because of these lashes. <laughs> Same Morphe palette, the black eyeshadow. Mixing with the second last and last shade, I'm doing my brows. I use this only in my brows. That's the only two shades. Even if I'm filming my, uh, filling my brows. Filming, wow. Even if I'm ever filling my brows, these are the two shades that I always use. I love them. They kind of matches my eyebrow hair. Again, a new product. This is the Shivana one, but I have used this quite a lot on me and my friends and my clients as well. Uh, which brush I use? I'm gonna use this brush. So I'm gonna use this contour brush from I don't know which brand. I got a set of brush from Flipkart. While a lot, uh, like a while back. So now I don't remember. So this contour. I'm more contouring than bronzing up. So this is a uh, Catrice cosmetic blush. It's a water plus sweat proof blush, which it's all I want in this summer. To be honest, um, it's really this is this has been like my go-to blush these days. I'm loving this blush. It has a sheen to it. It has like a small shimmery particles to it, but it's not like over where it looks like as a highlighter. But I'm just in love. I'm just in love with this. I used to never love any blush which has shimmer. Not even contouring or bronzing. I used to hate those products which has shimmers in my face products. Except highlight of course, but now I'm just slowly lighting shimmers in my face products, which is very weird. Which is not definitely an old India. Old India used to hate shimmers, but now I'm all about shimmers. So now I'm gonna do my mascara. We do mascara because we need to join my natural lashes to the uh, falsies. Do it properly. So I'm gonna do that. I'm using this L'Oreal. Sorry, it's maybe in colossal mascara. It's a uh, washable one and not so wonderful. So I'm gonna apply this Nykaa ka lipstick. Uh, I don't know. They don't have a shade. Yours. I think we order a naughty nude or something. It says 11 M. It's a mini lipstick from Nykaa. So I'm gonna apply this first, and I'm going to apply gloss because I'm loving these days a gloss look. You can apply a lip liner, but I'm just like, nah. Now, on top of that, I'm going to apply a slice of heaven from Victoria's Secret Lip Gloss. It's a freaking amazing lip gloss. So guys, if you really like this look, don't forget to share it with your friends, family and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel for more video like this. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!